Thank you for tuning in. It's Heidi Dulaban, international cultural consultant and etiquette expert. Delighted you're here today because if you have ever written an email, this is the video for you. We're going to talk about email etiquette. Yes, it's a thing and it's important. So when was the last time you sent an email? What, about five minutes ago? I know that I, I just did. So when you composed your email, did you think about etiquette? Did you even think etiquette could be involved in your email? Well, it is, and it should be, and it's important. So it's about being respectful to your reader, to the person or persons you're sending the email to. Everybody's busy, right? Whether this is a business email, if this is a social email, we're all busy. We don't have time to read some, you know, lengthy, lengthy 2,000 word email. No, keep it short. Be respectful of time. So here is a big tip. It's in the subject line. Everything is in the subject line. In five words or less, say what this email is about. Make it important. Say you're in a big yoga group. 25 of you, you get together every day and do this uh, via Zoom or another virtual platform and you decide you cannot make it tomorrow for whatever reason. So send an email to the leader of the group, cannot make yoga tomorrow. That's enough. And that gives them the heads up. They can open it further if they want to later, or if it's in business and you're sending an email to the project manager, you can just say, my data for Q4, something like that. They know what to expect. So that's what you need to do in the subject line. Say very succinctly, this is what this email is about. Open it up to read more. Okay, that's being respectful. How about to whom are you sending this email? That's very important. Send it to the people that really need to read this. Don't send this to everyone when they really don't need to read this. It's quite annoying. So make sure you are targeting your reader. Okay, so how are you opening the, your email? Be respectful. Uh, if it's to your boss, dear boss. If it's to a friend, hey, hi, that's fine. So be aware of the situation. Content of the body, again, let's not make it 2,000 words. Nobody has time, right? You, you must be repeating yourself, so keep it short and to the point. And then sign off the same way that you started it respectfully. Kind regards, best regards, something like that in a more formal email or cheers, something I personally like to close colleagues and friends. So choose something, but make it appropriate for the situation because there is email etiquette involved and I want you to be very good at it because you want to send an email people want to read. If someone sees an, oh, an email's popped up from you, they're gonna say, oh, great, I can't wait to see what they have to say. So make your email something people look forward to and they can't wait to open, not the opposite. Okay, I hope this helps a little bit. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and drop me a comment. What would you like to talk about? Want to take a deeper dive into email etiquette? We can do it. Okay, thanks everyone. Please be safe. Be respectful in your emails. And as I always say, please be kind. Thank you.